Hello YouTube, we are back for another installment of the Frankensteining of Roger's Witchcraft Golden Age book. So last upload, what we had was a dry cleaning and aqueous bath cleaning result video. So I'm happy with the whites. They did come out a lot better versus how they used to be. And I think I pushed it a enough, meaning I pushed it to the limit. I could go further, but sometimes when you go further, it doesn't benefit the book. And I did perform an acidity test with my pH strips, and I'm happy with the acidity level as it stands now. Now, as you can see, maybe if the camera's picking up, there is some white showing on the back of the cover through the red. Now, this white and a lot of this white here showing was there. And what happens is when you clean the cover, the dirt 40, 50 plus years, or this almost 70 years with this book, comes out. And the dirt fills in a lot of the defects that existed during or before the cleaning. So what are we going to do next? What we're going to do next is I am going to start making the pulp the pulp for the leaf casting and this is going to be the upload where we are going to start doing it now i have been using for my last uploads or last leaf casting jobs newsprint and this is the newsprint that i am using it is from blick and it is classic newsprint. And I've learned that the newsprint works the best in conjunction with the Tengojo paper that I am going to use in this project. I'm going to reinforce the whole cover. So this is what I use. Now, the only thing we do have to do is we're going to have to adjust the color because the color is not the same. As you can see, the newsprint is more of a grayish color. So I'm going to have to adjust the color and I'm going to show you how I adjust the color. And I'm going to do this particular to this book. I'm not going to use my actual samples that I have because a lot of those samples that I have are not with newsprint. So what we're going to do first, and as you can see, let me just say, I have paper towels on top and on the bottom of the remay paper. So when I am not, when I'm not working on the cover or anything with the pages, I have them between my thick pieces of glass. And I don't just have them with the Ramey paper. I also like to put a paper towel buffer on the bottom and on the top to get more pressure when the glass is on top of the pages. So what we're gonna do is I have my trusty Pyrex here, and I'm just going to Use regular Poland spring water, and I'm going to put it into the Pyrex. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my newsprint, and we're just gonna rip it up into small pieces, and I want this to soak. I want it to soak for a good 24 hours just so we can loosen up the fibers and loosen up the paper and make it real easy to break down. Because remember, we want to transform the paper into pulp. 
and I am going to use a lot with this. And the reason why I'm going to use a lot is because I want to make enough where I can take tests. I want to use tests. And when I say test, I want to test the color. Now, and we're going to do a bunch of different tests and let it dry and see if I can match up the pulp to the best in relation to Roger's book. Okay, so we ripped it up. We're putting it in the water. We want to mix it in the water. Now, this paper is not acid free. Also, I want to try to transform the gray more to a yellowish tan. So, what I have here is a diluted, and I say diluted, is extremely diluted water to bleach. I would say 20% bleach, 80% water. So, I am going to pour a little of that solution into the beaker with the newsprint and as you can see the gray turned a little brownish and over time it will lighten up and one other thing is that you may be saying well isn't bleach bad for the paper if you research bleach in relation to paper Bleach deacidifies paper. It is a base, and by adding it to the newsprint, it will deacify or lower or try to neutralize the pH of the paper if this is highly acidic. And I never tested it, but I did do research in relation to bleach and water, and we're going to let this soak until the paper turns a lot lighter. I want it to turn more of a dirty white color, which will fit better with Roger's book. And after it turns to the color that I desire, or as close to the color as I desire, I will strain the bleach water and I will flush it with fresh water. So stay tuned guys and next time you see me, this will be soaked long enough and then we'll go about trying to switch it up to fresh water and we'll start manipulating the color to match Roger's book. So see you soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And this right here is the newsprint pulp that I ripped up and I've been soaking in water. Now last segment i did put bleach into the water very diluted just to get the newsprint to a white tannish color so i am happy with the pigment of the newsprint and again this is going to be used for roger's witchcraft cover and I want to try to do my best to match it up. So what is the next step? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my blender ready an Oster, Oster Duralast Classic. This I got from Target. It's the most inexpensive blender that I can find. And then we're going to put our actual top into the blender. Now the key to this is to soak the paper for quite some time. And this paper I soaked, to be honest, for about four days. And I covered it up because you don't want to get impurities like hairs or fuzzies or things that are in the air. Now, this is the color. Now, usually what I do is I break it up, but with the newsprint it's unnecessary because it is a better textured paper for the leaf casting i determined and i think it purees better than the prior papers that i used to use which had a more fibrous 
consistency. So also, I'm not going to use my templates to make this. I'm going to custom make the color the match to Roger's cover. So we poured the soaking pieces of newsprint that were lightened with bleach. And another key thing, guys, was I only put the bleach, diluted bleach in for a very short time. Then what I did was I rinsed the paper, rinsed the paper, flushed it out several times, and I used the Ramey paper like a cheesecloth to keep the paper in the beaker when I pour out the water. And it's very important. And the bleach did two things. One, it dyed the paper from gray to more consistency of the color of the cover. And two, the newsprint is not deacidified or acid-free paper based on the literature that comes with it on the cover. So the ass, uh, the sorry, the bleach will deacify the cover. So let's put it in. Let's give it a mix. And I like to use the strongest setting to get it mixed up, which is a smoothie setting. Put some water here. I mean water, paper towel. Okay, that's about it for now. So here we go. Here is the paper pulp that we have. I'm gonna let this sit a little bit longer. And then after sitting, what I'm going to do is I will pulse it up a little bit more and we'll do it in stages. And then we will set up the template because I'm gonna make a piece of paper pulp and I'm going to use it with the Tengojo paper as well, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And then we'll test the color, and then we'll adjust the color as needed. We'll compare it up to the cleaned cover as I have it. So hang out and stay tuned, we'll be back. Okay guys, we're back, and we let this sit in the, the paper pulp sit in the actual blender for a good 10 minutes i'm gonna i'm gonna actually hit it again to blend it just very shortly okay we're good we're ready for the test batch now so how are we gonna do this i have my pad here which is fine then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the Costco wee wee pads, and I know how Mike Night Tiger likes to laugh when I say that. And then we're gonna take a little of the paper pulp and we're gonna put it in my salad dressing or squirt bottle. I don't need a lot. We'll close it up. and then we'll give it another shaking. Then what I wanna do is I'm gonna put a trusty piece of Ramey paper, cause that will prevent it from sticking. And just for extra, extra to absorb it, I'm gonna put some paper towels down. After doing that, what I wanna do is I want to take a piece of Rame paper. Not Rame, I'm sorry, this is the Tengojo paper. Because my goal, and I'll save it for now, but I am planning to do something very special with Roger's book. Because I know what Roger wants to do with the book, so you're going to have to stay tuned. Then what I'm going to do is let's put the paper pulp. And again, guys, all I'm doing right now is I am making a test piece so we can match up the color. 
And people ask me, how do you know how much to put on? How do you know whether to make it thick, not thick? I'm gonna be honest, guys, it just comes with practice and feel you have to do it. So right now we have the Tengojo paper, we have the paper pulp. So what I wanna do, I wanna fold the Rame paper and we are going to remove the Rame paper. This is all the water that goes through. Look at that. And now what I wanna do, let's move it over and I wanna blot this out. I wanna to try to get as much water out as possible. So I'll just use my hand. We're not gonna use the rolling pin because this is just a test, a test to see if the color is going to match up nicely. We want to try to match it up as best as possible. I'm just up on my step ladder to make sure that the camera is picking this up. If it isn't, we're wasting your time. And I want to uh, apologize to that one commentary if you're watching. I hope I'm not talking too much for you because we really don't want to upset you because if I talk too much, maybe you'll like shut the video off and you know what? Shut it off for all I care. So here we go. Now we have the piece of paper pulp incorporated in the Tengojo paper and you can see how it goes right through. And I'm gonna keep this on the Rame paper. We're gonna close it up just like that. I'm gonna take two pieces of paper towel, one on top, one on the bottom. I'm gonna get two pieces of my trusty small glass, one here and then one here. And then we're gonna let this sit. And after it's done and after it's dried, we're gonna test it up with the color of Roger's cover. And if we are close, we're gonna use it. We're gonna go to the next step. If we're not, we're gonna go back to the drawing board and we're gonna tweak the color to make it as close as possible to Roger's cover, or at least the base whites of the cover, because Roger is a great guy and we wanna do a very nice job or an excellent job for him or the best job I can possibly do. So stay tuned and then the next upload will be the color match.